Let's learn the construction of an ambulance and assemble it. First, let's install a frame. This is the basic part of a car. The frame carries all the other parts. Now let's install wheels. A car needs rolling wheels to move on the road. And now we need to install brakes. Brakes are needed to slow a car down or stop it. Now let's install suspension. Suspension keeps the car from shaking while driving. Let's install an engine and a battery. The engine makes the wheels turn so the car can move and the battery helps start the engine and provides power for headlights, controls, and other systems. Now let's install a fuel tank. The fuel tank contains gasoline or other fuel. Let's install an interior of the car. This is the main interior space of the car to accommodate passengers and a driver. These are the controls of a car. They include a steering wheel, pedals, a gearbox, and a dashboard. Let's install them. All these things are necessary for a driver to control the car. Now let's install some special equipment. The special ambulance equipment consists of an electrocardiography system, defibrillator, ventilator, and other medical devices. This is a first aid kit. Let's put it in its place. The first aid kit contains all the necessary medicines, tools, and instruments for first aid. Let's put a stretcher. The ambulance stretcher is designed to carry patients. And now we need to install a body. Body is the exterior part of the car, which is attached to the frame. Install the headlights. The lights illuminate a road in the dark. There are also special lights that show the turn direction of the car. When the lights are turned on, other drivers can see the car in the dark. It's a flasher, but its correct name is emergency lighting. Let's install it. Emergency lighting attracts attention and shows other drivers that they must give the way to such a car. We did it! Don't stop!